Uh, yes, Trent, after getting uh, called up by the Washington Capitals to help them uh, defend their improbable second straight season and winning your hometown tournament, I ask you seriously, is there any man who's had a better month in Washington than Trent Huey? Yeah, it's been an unbelievable experience. Uh, it's been a lot of fun coming to play, play for the Castles uh, last week here in D.C. on Tuesday night. And, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And uh, thank Mark so much for picking me and playing with Bobby. I know Bobby pretty well. So uh, that was a great experience of coming here and playing the tournament. But, uh, I grew up watching since I was a little kid. Uh, it, was a great, it was a great experience. And Dom and I had a, I mean, a fun week. And, uh, it's always more fun with your win, so that definitely helps. Definitely. Thank you. You mentioned coming here a bunch of times as a kid. Was there any particular match you remember? Did you have a favorite player or anything like that? I grew up, I mean, I like Blake and Agassi and Tommy Haas a bunch. And seeing Tommy do real well this week, it's been a lot of fun. But uh, as a kid, I think, I don't know what year it was, but Blake played Agassi in one of the years. And we're just absolutely on fire and just beat him. It was pretty bad. I don't know what the score was, but I remember Blake was hitting winner after winner anywhere in the court. And everywhere in the absolute packed house, and everywhere in the stands, just in awe. He was hitting the football as hard as anybody I'd ever seen. And absolute winners everywhere. And that was one of the nights that I still remember today. Going into that third set, what's the conversation that you're having in your head when it starts to be where the match is on line? It's really easy to come apart then, but you didn't. Yeah, for sure. And the doubles, I mean, it comes down to one or two points here and there. And uh, with the 10-point tiebreaker in the end, you have to uh, I mean, you have to play well when you need You have to play well with those big points. And uh, he and I both served well when he needed to. And Don played some great points on return. Uh, got us in a little lead in the breaker, and uh, we, we cruised from there. We hit some big serve, covered the net real well, and closed it out, so that was great. You won uh, third, or you played 35 tie uh, tie break points between the second break and the th and the super breaker. How do you maintain your focus? When do you get time to breathe during that stretch? Yeah, the tie breaker. I feel like I have a little more time. People will take a little more time for the tie breaker after two points, where you change serves. But uh, going into the 10-point tiebreaker, obviously Tom and I had uh, had a match point in the second set tiebreaker. Kevin had a great winner up the middle. And uh, it was barely on the back of the line, so obviously we were thinking about that a little. But uh, going in, we talked about the 10-point tiebreaker. Let's just keep doing the same things and uh, stay focused on what we're doing. And we, we'll obviously have a chance if we pull up. So we got it, got it done somehow. Yeah. It's easy. Tread. Tread, I just noticed you, you have more facial hair than you did last month in Newport, just wondering if it was some good luck thing. Yeah, Dom and I started the week, we always, we'll always shave, but once the tournament starts, we'll never shave until the tournament's over. That's uh, something we always, we've always done, and I think we'll always keep doing that. So. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Tread. Thank you.